You've probably heard what's happening in the news recently regarding sexual assault, especially in the entertainment industry. And to be clear, it's not just Hollywood, it's everywhere. Like, this stuff happens in bakeries too. It's just not getting written up in the New York Times. This recent calling out of sexual assault has been a long time coming. It's good. It's like cutting out tumors. It's messy and it's complicated and it is gonna hurt, but it's necessary and we'll all be healthier for it. And it sucks and some of our heroes will be taken down and we will discover bad things about people we like or in some cases, people we love. Let's just say it, I'm talking about Louis. Um, and I've of course been asked to comment and in full honesty, I really, I really, really, really don't want to. I, uh, I wish I could sit this one out. But then I remembered something I said on this very show that if it's mentionable, it's manageable. So uh, I'm gonna address the elephant masturbating in the room. And, uh, and full disclosure, I'm, I'm still processing all this shite, uh, but here's where I'm at on it as of this moment. It could change tomorrow, and if it does, I will keep you posted. One of my best friends of over 25 years, Louis C.K., masturbated in front of women. He wielded his power with women in, in fucked up ways, sometimes to the point where they left comedy entirely. I could, <clears throat> I could couch this with heartwarming stories of our friendship and uh, what a great dad he is, but that's totally irrelevant, isn't it? Um, yes, it is. It's, it's a real mind fuck, uh, you know, because I, I love Louis. Um, but Louis did these things. Both of those statements are true. So I just keep asking myself, can you love someone who did bad things? Can you still love them? Uh, I can mull that over later, certainly, because the only people that matter right now are the victims. They are victims, and they're victims because of something he did. So I hope it's okay if uh, I am at once very angry for the women he wronged and the culture that enabled it, and also sad, because he's my friend. But I believe with all my heart that this moment in time is essential. It's vital that people are held accountable for their actions, no matter who they are. We need to be better. We will be better. I can't fucking wait to be better.